Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to. Hello and welcome. Today in this video lecture, we are having a class ninth mathematics paper two, and uh, in this video, we are going to solve the questions that is from our chapter number one sets and function so here we have our first question from uh, the chapter number one uh, sets and function so let's see the question for two non-empty sets a and b an onto function from a to b is defined as f1 p comma 10 q comma 10 r comma 25 and s comma 30 so this is the function given in the equation using the given function we have to answer the following parts and this question comprises of four marks so we have to first of all we have to find the function of uh, f1 so the function uh, the domain of the function f1 will be such that we know that uh, in an order pair x comma y the domain are the values of abscissa all the abscissa in this function f1 will form the domain of function f1 so the domain of function f1 is equal to p q r and s so these are the elements that uh, are that will form the domain of function f1 now let's see the part 2 we have to find the set a so for set a and b this fun onto function is from set a and b so let's uh, do the mapping of this function onto function p is to 10 so this is the first relation from a to b then we have q to 10 then we have r to 25 and uh, s to 30 so this is uh, the function or the mapping of this function f1 so the set a will be equal to p q r and s so this is the set a of this function f1 now let's see part 3 select and write down the possible set b from the given two choices we have two choices choice one and choice two and we know that the given question says that this function is an onto function so in an onto function onto function is such that the range is always equal to set b range should be equals to set b for a function to be a onto function so if we can see this function p comma 10 q comma 10 r 25 and s 30 so in this way the range of this function will be r is equals to 10 25 and 30 so for onto function range is always equal to set b so this means that the range of this relation f1 is 10 25 30 so this set is equal to the set b so we can say that the choice one is the right answer choice one that says that 10 25 and 30 this is the set b for this question next we have question number part four write down a function f2 from a to b f2 should not be same as f1 so in this part we have to write any function f2 so we have to make sure 
the two thing about the function that uh, domain of this function f2 should be equals to set a and domain should not be repeated so let's make an other function from this uh, sets a and b set a is pqrs and b is 10 25 30 so set a we have is p q r s and set b we have is 10 15 and 25 10 25 and 30 sorry so let's correct 10 25 and 30 so let's make any function from set a to b rather it would be into onto or whatever function we can make so first uh, order pair we have made from a to b is p comma 10 q comma 25 and uh, r comma 25 so this is the function f2 that is equal to p comma 10 then q comma 25 and uh, r comma 25 and uh, s comma 30 so this is the function f2 and this is also an onto function so in this question this is up to us that uh, which type of function we are making for this answer of this question thanks for watching don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to